Welcome to VBAR 101. I'm Frederick Mellin, aka Mr. Mel. Today I'm gonna go over uh, bank switching in uh, VBAR 5.2. So, uh, first of all, uh, we have the program as you see it here. We have my radio. Uh, in the radio, you need to program a channel. So, you have a channel tied to a switch. It doesn't matter which function you use in the radio. Uh, if you use the gyro function, so be it. Uh, in a Futaba I can program a switch to be a channel, so in that way it's easy. Uh, but for some radios it's not possible, so then you might use the gyro function in the radio, it doesn't matter. We're gonna show you. First of all, before we start and do anything else, if we have a complete setup, uh, ready to go helicopter, there is one thing we're gonna do first, and that's go in here under expert and copy the existing bank to all banks because there is a, a possibility to have banks that are not flyable uh, and if you have that and let's say you get into some uh, trim on that channel or something you can go into those uh, banks that you're not using normally and uh, it can actually it can crash your helicopter so copy editing bank to all and do and start so when that's done we are then going um, to first we're gonna go back here and uh, actually we're gonna go up in setup mode and then to receiver then we're gonna check the aux gyro function here this one needs to be assigned to a channel. And which channel? Well, on my Futaba here I'm using channel 8. Uh, I could use something else on a standard spectrum. If you want to use the gyro function, it's number, channel number 5. So, uh, this little bar here uh, that represents where we're at if you look now, I have tied my function here, my channel 8, to this switch. So I have up, then it's uh, yellow on the bar, middle there is no bar, and then down it's blue bar. So I have three different banks here, um, which I can use now on that little function or a switch here. So going back to uh, main screen and then here we enable the bank switching. Do note you cannot use bank switching and uh, controlling gain from from the radio at the same time because if you're controlling gain, gyro gain, this is enabled, then bank switching is disabled. So you need to go bank 0 slash 1, 2, 3 and then that means bank switching is enabled. If we now look here at um, this auxiliary, you see a little, uh, this is the bar, same as in uh, the receiver setup. Here we see the banks, different banks, one, two, three, four. I have a three-way switch, so I won't get um, all four, I gotta get three. So if we flip that one, we see her active bank switch to number two. This go up here, and if we go down there, bank go switch to number three, and then it goes up here. So that's three different banks I have now. So right now I can set different setups, totally different setups in each bank. If you go down here, I can, uh, let's say I want to try Vivid as a style on that bank. And then I flip back and it brings back my other value that I have in another bank. Do note there is some setups uh, that is global and there is some setups that are per bank, like tail endpoints to simulate rates things on, on um, scale ships and stuff like that. They actually have made the tail endpoints uh, so you can have different per bank and that's a little bit tricky if you change something uh, at the field you might want to copy to all banks if you do changes to the setup. So always, if you do stuff you're not sure of, do a copy to all banks 
and then start changing those small things that you really need to change uh, for the different banks. If you uh, are unsure on uh, on uh, uh, when you look at the log file it will actually say which bank you were flipping or uh, initializing when you're flying so you can see where you did if you get more vibration okay which setting did I use okay I switched to bank 2 then I can ver uh, control on the PC which what settings do I have in bank 2 so this is uh, bank switching is a totally complete setup of uh, parameters tied to a uh, function on your radio.